in this video we are going to talk about the amnesic incognito live system in short this is called as tails operating system this is a debian linux based operating system and this is completely focused on security and privacy so in this video we will learn what is this tails operating system on what issues it can help you to protect and what it cannot protect so those are the different things that we are going to learn in this particular video. So basically Tails operating system is not a fully fledged operating system that you install on a bare metal hardware. Basically this is an operating system that requires a host operating system. For example, you have a Windows uh, PC on which you are running Windows operating system and on top of Windows operating system, you can install Tails operating system. So Tails also can be intended to run from a USB flash drive or a DVD. So let's make the point USB flash drive slash DVD. And actually when you're running uh, this from a USB flash drive or a DVD, uh, Tails basically does not leave any traces on the original operating system that is installed, either in the memory or in the file system. There is no traces. You can unplug your USB flash drive, take it to a different operating system or host operating system. You can plug in uh, your USB drive and you can start using this particular operating system. It's very secure and uh, completely focused on your privacy. And this entire project of Tails operating system is currently, it's a work in progress operating system. Like uh, the work is still going on in the software development, identifying bugs and all. So this is not a fully fledged operating system that we need to talk about, but most of the people in the security community basically are intended to use this Tails operating system. And this Tails operating system is uh, currently uh, in development with, um, with Tor, the Onion Router project. So this is the project uh, which funds uh, Mozilla, it funds uh, you know, the freedom of uh, the Press Foundation, the Debian project, and um, and it also funds uh, the development of Tails. As an operating system, basically Tails ships it, ships with uh, several default security applications. Uh, for example, let's talk about some examples here. Uh, Tails basically uses uh, the Tor browser. Tor browser um, <coughs> basically is a default browser that comes up with uh, the Tails operating system and uh, for those who are not aware of uh, the Onion router or the Tor browser, uh, this entire relay network, the Tor relay network, which we talk about, has two different types of nodes. One is called an entry node, which actually uh, you have a client. I'm sorry. You have a client, which you opened a particular Tor website or the Onion site. It goes through the entry node and the entry node is connected to the exit node and then to the destination. This is a basic network of the Tor relay network. So basically the communication which happens between the client and the entry is encrypted. The entry to exit is encrypted. So the exit node does not know which client has sent the request for a particular, particular website to access. And the destination the exit and the destination that traffic is not encrypted which we are going to talk about in this video that's a, actually a security flaw inside tor itself which we are going to talk about in this video so all the communication the outgoing communication is routed through the tor network and the non-anonymous connections are basically not allowed in in tails operating system and it also includes other applications to encrypt your data, a password generator to generate a very, um, you know, highly strength uh, passwords and also tools to minimize your risk when connecting to the internet. See, right now when we talk about internet connectivity, we are talking about all communications getting unencrypted um, and that is causing a lot of problems. People are stealing your passwords, people are um, using your data, people are... Uh, doing a man in middle attack when you are doing the communication and all so that doesn't happen with uh, the tails operating system by default all the communication including emails and instant messaging are encrypted by default so let's get started by discussing some of the most important security features supplied by tails 
So Tails comes up with a lot of things. We talk about HTTPS encryption. All the traffic uh, that happens is basically encrypted by default. And there is an extension that is extensively developed by Electronic Frontier Foundation, EFF. Uh, and they developed this extension for Chrome as well as uh, Opera and Firefox, which is called as HTTPS Everywhere. Let's write it down. So this is an extension which actually uh, does communication with major websites and it encrypts all the communication. This is providing you with more secure browsing experience on Tails operating system. And it also helps you to uh, not to uh, be a victim of uh, the password harvesting or stealing your uh, documents and all these things. And one more important uh, security feature that uh, we need to talk about is uh, the Tor button. So the Tor button is an extension that is developed especially for Tor browser, which actually enhances security and privacy. It has multiple capabilities. Uh, it does protection against JavaScript. You know, JavaScript is the most vulnerable, um, you know, script that uh, runs by default in many browsers and can install malware, uh, you know, viruses and all onto your system. So it protects you against the dangerous uh, JavaScript using the Tor button. There is a security slider where you can adjust your security settings, whether you want to compromise your system by doing a low setting or you want to do a medium level settings or the high level settings. You can do that using uh, the security slider. There is a new identity feature that is added to the Tor button. Th that feature actually, uh, to understand that feature, let's talk about how uh, a general browsing of a website works. So basically when you go for a particular website, uh, that website actually uh, downloads a cookie onto your system which actually keeps a lot of session information like from which IP you came into that website, uh, how much time did you spend on the website, which browser did you use. All this information is basically stored in that particular cookie. This is called as a session information. It can be cache, cookies, history and so on. So basically in normal browsers and normal operating systems, uh, basically these cookies are stored onto your uh, PC and they are again utilized by other uh, websites who actually promote you with advertisements and all. So this is called as targeted advertising, which actually happens in most of the operating systems today. But Tails operating system will not allow you to do this because of the new identity feature. So what it does is basically it removes all the session information which we talked about like uh, cache, cookies, uh, history and so on and closes all the web connections between the exit and the destination and the client. Uh, it closes all the connection connections and it erases all the content that, uh, that a particular session has. So this will help you uh, to be completely anonymous and uh, you know and to save uh, yourself from password harvesting and all these things. So also it has another feature called uh, the no script. No script actually helps you to complete disabling of JavaScript, which you can optionally do that. Uh, but most of the websites do not work if you disable JavaScript. And coming to all the security uh, things, uh, which makes that Tor, uh, Tails is one of the most secure operating systems. But no, uh, Tails has its weaknesses also. Uh, so we are going to discuss about those weaknesses. So Tails basically, uh, we discussed, right? Uh, Tails does not install directly on a bare metal hardware. It requires a host operating system. So when the host operating system gets compromised, uh, Tails also is exposed. So when you are installing Tails, make sure your host operating system, whether you're running uh, Windows or Linux, make sure that operating system is secure. It is protected with all the endpoints, antivirus, uh, firewalls and all, so that the, the Tails operating system on top of which uh, you are installing is also secure. And Tails does not protect you against the compromised hardware, meaning that if an attacker gains physical access to a computer, you are running uh, Tails from, it cannot be uh, unsafe. So also Tails does not protect you from uh, the BIOS and the fire, uh, fireware uh, attacks, like attacks that target your computer BIOS as well as the firmware. 
they are not protected as of now with uh, Talus. So, in the early in the video, we discussed about the Tor relay network. So, this is the most important point that I would like to stretch on this particular video. So, Tor relay network has this client uh, entry node, exit node, and the destination. So, the, the communication that happens between the Tor exit nodes basically is very vulnerable for people to do a man in middle attack or do some eavesdropping. dropping. So someone can plug into that uh, particular node and uh, continuously check what websites you are visiting and what, what activity you are doing on the web. So that particular thing is uh, unencrypted. To protect yourself from this, it's recommended to use end-to-end -end encryption in the Tor browser. That is the most important thing that you need to uh, do it if you want to become completely anonymous. So these are the things, guys, I would like to uh, talk about in, the, uh, in this video regarding the Tails operating system. I hope this video is informative and I hope you learned something out of this video. Please uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And thank you very much for watching this video and stay tuned for more. Have a wonderful day. Till then, happy learning.